So to be honest, I don't even know why they're doing a weigh-in between Brock Lesnar and Amos. I mean, Amos is like 7,000 foot two and over 400 pounds, and Brock Lesnar is probably around probably not even 300 pounds. I think he's not even 300 pounds. So they're not even in the same weight class. But you know what? It's for entertainment. So let's get into the entertainment. Before we get started, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it. Let's get into this. Whoa, when my screen get dark? Oh, there we go. And his opponent. Are those Braun Strowman pants? I'll take it from here, Mr. Graves. Thank you very much. Before we are joined by the Beast Incarnate, I'd like to remind everyone that this is one final opportunity for all of you and for you, Brock Lesnar, to see the specimen that is the Nigerian giant. You see, Brock, I will give you credit because I respect you immensely. Brock Lesnar, many times you have stepped in this ring at previous WrestleManias and you have imposed your will and conquered some of the greatest that this business has ever seen. People like the great Kurt Angle. People like Goldberg. People like Roman Reigns. But I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge, perhaps, Brock, your crowning achievement. Ending the streak of The Undertaker at WrestleMania. But Brock, I have to remind you, unlike those men, this is the Nigerian giant. You cannot suplex him. You cannot F5 him. And at WrestleMania, you will not defeat him at WrestleMania! Omas, if you would please. That's a strong scale, man. Four hundred and ten pounds. Four hundred and ten pounds, man. Over four hundred pounds. Brock Lesnar, you're a bad man, but you ain't better than this man right here. They definitely advertising Brock F5 and this guy a couple times and giving him the German suplex. It's smart. It's smart. But I, I said this weeks ago. I know. No, I know what this match is for. It's just for that. The beast, Brock Lesnar. And I'm fine with that. MVP told us on the After the Bell podcast that Brock Lesnar is a beast to you and me, but to Omos. Listen, if you don't, if you don't love this version, if you don't love this version of Brock Lesnar, you just hate Brock Lesnar at this point, right? I get if you don't like the other iterations, if you want to call it that, of Brock Lesnar. But if you hate this version of Brock Lesnar, Lesnar, you just hate Brock Lesnar, just because. But beasts can easily be tamed by giants. What will Brock Lesnar have to say about that? We're going to find out at WrestleMania. Four hundred and ten pounds. That's the weight of Omar. That mug is that guy is at the, the front giant. by himself, bro. So you, you know, how much some, you know, how much some tickets are. Unless people playing for paying for their own ticket, you got to go by yourself. Oh, let's get him. Oh. Oh, Brock's a little agile. Okay. Oh, oh. Get your steps. Get your steps. Oh. Hey. Bunions to the forehead. Huh? Is this a sign of what's to come?
Once more, it's the Nigerian giant standing over the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar. Yeah, uh, wait, is anything else gonna happen here? It don't look like it. Hold on. WrestleMania Saturday. Is oh yeah, it's just a replay. All right, I think it's obvious Amos is about to lose that match. I mean, he's standing tall right now on the Raw before WrestleMania. But here's the thing: I will say this though, Brock was a little bit more agile than normal in this segment. Now, if they take this agile Brock, if they take AB and put him into WrestleMania, even though the match is not going to be more than three minutes long, if they give us a little bit more of this, it could be a lot better than we think it is. Right? For me, I love this version of Brock Lesnar. I don't know why people don't like it. I've seen people say it, but hey, I'm here to be entertained. And if Brock could be agile and, and do his thing, that's great. And Omos, he's not expected to do anything else but to, like, be tall. <laughs> See, that's the only thing he needs to do, and he's already doing it. He does it every time he wakes up. He does it every time he goes to sleep. So, for me, this match don't have to be a five-star match. Let's not get too crazy about it. If you don't like the match, it is what it is. That's your opinion. I don't mind hearing your opinion. But I don't know why people are expecting, like, a crazy build to a match like this, a crazy storyline, and get a five-star. We're not getting a five-star match out of this, man. We got to get that out of our head. I don't think there's ever been a WrestleMania, in my personal opinion, where every match was a five-star match. Every storyline was the greatest storyline ever told. In fact, some of the WrestleManias, the main events, have been stories like this. It didn't make any sense, all right? But let me know in the comment section, man, what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching. Salute. Peace. Have a good day.